Connecting the junction box with two 20 amp circuits in BX cable supplying electrical outlets. The 12, 3 BX cable from the panel board contains two 20 amp circuits and is left to power the new electrical outlets after all remaining old cables have been removed from these circuits during the demolition of the old room. The junction box will be connected for a receptacle on a dedicated circuit within that junction box, and the other hot wire from the cable will power another circuit of electrical outlets elsewhere. The cable will be installed in a 4-inch square metal junction box of appropriate size. 4-inch square 2 and 1-8-inch deep stud mount metal junction box details. Capacity 30 cubic inches. Cable knockouts 3 quarters and 1 half inch, 14 total. Mounting brackets. Ground screw hole. Screws for attaching rings and covers of electrical devices. Junction box, rear view. Junction box, bracket side view. Holes for attaching the junction box to the stud. The edge of the bracket that should be mounted flush with the edge of the stud. You will also need Ground screw Staples Anti-short bushing, redhead, for BX, armored, cable Approved cable connector for BX cable Snap-in cable connector for NM, non-metallic sheathed, cable. Wire nuts. Installation screws. 1 half inch rise 1 gang device ring, for 1 half inch drywall, 3.5 cubic inches capacity. Slots for attaching the device ring to the junction box. Holes for securing electrical devices to the ring. Device ring, rear view. Mark the junction box location. Install the junction box to the stud. Make sure the power is turned off. Cut the BX cable to the appropriate length. Remove the metal cable jacket at least 7 inches from the end of the cable.
Insert the redhead bushing and wrap the cable internal bonding strip around the cable jacket. VX cable ready for cable clamp or other type connector. Anti-short bushing, redhead, inserted. Cable bonding strip wrapped around the cable jacket. Install an approved cable connector on the cable. Open the junction box knockout. Insert the cable connector with cable into the open junction box knockout and tighten the cable connector nut. To ensure proper grounding, cable connector clamping screw and the cable connector nut must be properly tightened. VX cable wires Red, hot wire Black, hot wire White, neutral wire Cable jacket, ground wire Secure the cable to the stud no more than 12 inches from the cable entry into the junction box. Select and open cable knockout in the junction box for the next cable. Insert the cable connector into the cable knockout. The existing wires in the junction box are 12 AWG, American wire gauge, so the cable extending the existing circuit will be the same size. Insert the cable into the cable connector. Secure the cable to a stud no more than 12 inches from the cable entry into the junction box. Strip the cable sheath. VX cable from the panel board. NMD.
2nm cable for other electrical outlets. 12. 2nm cable wires. White, neutral wire. Bare ground wire. Black, hot wire. Install the ground screw. Wrap the ground wire, bare, around the ground screw and tighten the screw. Connect the wires as follows. Connect the neutral, white, wires by adding a white pigtail wire of the same size, insert the connection into the junction box, leaving the pigtail outside the junction box. The neutral, white, conductors must be connected together using a wire nut, as the two circuits have the same, shared, neutral conductor in the cable, the connection must not depend on a screw connection to the receptacle. The hot, red, wire from the BX cable from the panel board to the hot, black, wire from the NM cable to the other electrical outlets and insert the connected wires into the junction box. Trim all remaining wires and pigtail wire no shorter than 6 inches from the bottom of the junction box, secure the hot, black, wire with a wire nut, if needed, and insert the wires into the junction box. Install one gang device ring to the junction box. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.